Okay guys, Passaic River. Looks like the weather could be threatening again, but uh, one of my fears has been quelled. Uh, obviously the water is extremely calm, at this spot in the river anyway. So, uh, you know, I can leave my car here and uh, explore a little. Um, I didn't bring the pedal drive, I didn't bring the fish finder. Um, because if there, are, if this is shallow, and I don't know how shallow it is, but if it is shallow, uh, you don't want to be smashing your pedal drive into the rocks, and the fish finder probably won't do you much good. So it's kind of nice not having to set everything up today. So I'll be paddling, hopefully not lose my paddles overboard, and I can tell it's very shallow here. Anyway, this is our continued search for pike, um, and. Uh, no drop shotting today. I'm not, I didn't even bring any drop shot stuff. I don't want to resort to that. Although I think there's smallmouth in here too. So, you know, I brought some soft plastics uh, in case the pike thing doesn't work out, but let's get out on the water. Let's, let's do it, huh? Wallet, keys, phone, batteries, all in that compartment. All right, we got the Bayou Craw Chatterbait with a uh, zoom pumpkin grub. Uh, I've actually had brought this out in a few previous outings and nothing happened so I didn't include any filming with it. Again hoping to get my first pike. My first pike today. You're on my head today guys because Realized the last couple of kayak videos you're not getting the best views because you can't really see where I'm looking So let me know how you like this Okay, Paca Craw on a Ned rig Switching things up going I, I guess we're just seeing if there's fish in here for, for the time being We'll go back to pike with some more aggressive baits in a little bit Okay, let's see. This this part looks shady. It's got that going for it, but I think I see more downed trees. Damn it! Ah, muskrat or beaver? Who's a muskrat? Maybe that's what I thought was top water earlier. Fish. Fish. Oh, it's a pike. Pike. I had a pike. <sighs> Alright, we'll get him again. Maybe there's more. Oh, I had a pike. I had a pike. Alright, so they like these kind of shady shady areas I guess near some weeds Let's see if that gets us something it wasn't bad either I mean it wasn't it wasn't like a huge pike but it was a pike it's funny because of their shape it, it is a weirder fight it does feel a little bit more like you snagged something a little perch or something just came up for it too guys we, we almost had a new species so damn close. Might be another pike. Come on. I don't think that's a fish.
guys, I just got hit again. We're back to the chatterbait now. Figured I'd go a little heavier duty. That got hit on the fall. Barely had time to turn the camera on. So, we know what they like. Shadowy, cool, somewhat deep pockets, near some weeds, near some structure. And we just gotta keep going for it. I saw that thing. It was almost 100% a pike, unless it was a pickerel. Same shape and everything. It fought well, and it just wasn't hooked well. And they bit on both the chatterbait and the uh, the Ned rig. So let's just keep going, guys. We're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna get one. Steps leading down, you wonder what used to be here. Pretty scenic. I mean, you know, around here you really can, you gotta go pretty far away to really escape, you know, traffic noise and houses and sirens. And, but this is, this is beautiful. Alright guys, last ditch attempt, I have seen a couple uh, pike swimming very close to surface and like I'm sure they were pike. So we're gonna go with the surface lure. Don't, the camera's on my head so I don't know if you can see this or not but it's a uh, Lunker Hunt, Lunker Hunt uh, popper of some kind. It's very pretty, it's got like a matte finish. Um, it was actually part of my uh, prize pack for uh, um, tying for Lunker in uh, the Brooklyn fishing tournament last year. Never caught anything on a popper. Look at that, how it darts back and forth. It's beautiful. I like this thing. Are you kidding me? Well, after all that, we snag a red breast sunfish on a popper. Right in the eye. Interesting. Yes, all this for this guy. That's what it's all about, folks. That is what it's all about. Mwah. Okay, folks, well, we're going to have to just chalk this one up to uh, experience or lack thereof. But uh, I will say, you know, I think we just have to, to take this one how, how you take musky, uh, musky hunts. Even for experienced musky folks, you know, a good day for them is if they had a follow or if they got bit. Not necessarily if they landed a fish. And uh, I did get bit on a Ned rigged um, Paca Craw of all things. I would not have even expected that to attract a pike, but um, it did. So, um, you know, I think we'll be back. We'll be back here and we'll catch a pike at some point. Um, you know, I think, I think I'm getting closer and I think I should be happy. I think you should be happy. Thanks for watching, folks. Please like and subscribe. Fish like there's no tomorrow and peace.